Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to solve a really common problem with Confluence, which is how to number your headings. So you might want to have several headings on your page, and you might want them to be numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then potentially beneath that you might want them to be lettered, so A, B, C, D, etc. So I'm going to show you just how easy that is to do with Capable. Here I have a, a Confluence page I've created, which has a table of contents at the top, and then it has headings here for each of the things I care about in this page. In order to set these as numbered, all we need to do is click on Capable, go down to Numbered Headings, and as you can see it comes up with a preview and a list of presets here, so we could pick between the default, which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, A, B, C, D, I, etc. But we could also set it up however we want it here, so we could just have numbers, we could have uh, Roman, Greek, or we can even have a custom configuration which lets us really set this up exactly how we want it, between all these different kinds of options here, like delineators, text styles, and also alpha or symbols here. But for this example I'm going to choose the default option here, and you'll see here we've got a toggle here to keep this in sync. So you'll see just how this works later when I update the page. So if we click apply, you'll see just like that now our headings are all numbered and inside this table of contents we can nicely see the numbers for each of the headings here. So nice and easy. But you might be asking what happens when I add a heading to this page? So I'm going to add a heading called uh, New Context, and I'm going to make it the same heading level as this, so Heading 3, and I'm going to click Update. And as you can see, at the top of the page we have a new item here called Automatic Headings, which gives us uh, an indication that this page is being automatically renumbered. So you can see here, if we go down to our new heading, it's already been completely reflowed so that it makes sense here. So it's a really simple feature, but it's one that we're all after in Confluence, and this just makes it so much easier. I encourage you to give Capable a try today, and just see how it solves so many of your problems in Confluence in one really easy to use app. As always, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on Confluence.